If anyone has things, if we could first, I'd like to first turn to Councillor Fritz and ask her to introduce an item for us. Great. As the council knows, I uh, serve on Eco Maine's board of directors, formerly Regional Waste Systems, um, and their recycling committee. And every year, uh, we have been giving a Recycler of the Year award. Um, and this year, uh, we have an award for um, one of the awards for um, Recycler of the Year uh, to some citizens of Cape Elizabeth. And I'd like to introduce Kevin Roach. Uh, the general manager of EcoMain to present the award. <clears throat> Thanks, uh, Carol. Uh, I'm here to, tonight to present the Eco Excellence Award to the Swap Shop Volunteers, which is a group of individuals here in Cape Elizabeth that have been recognized by the Cape Elizabeth Recycling Committee for their le leadership in recycling initiatives. The objective of the Eco Excellence Award is to promote an awareness of successful recycling initiatives um, here in our region. And nominations are reviewed by the Eco Main Recycling Committee, of which Carol sits on. They are judged on the effectiveness and results of the initiative, community impact, increase awareness, as well as ease of rep replication. And that may be the most important attribute. Tonight, we would like, right, like to recognize the Swap Shop volunteers. They have gone out of their way to promote recycling programs, and their volunteer efforts are very much appreciated. Their work has included keeping the Swap Shop clean and orderly. Their efforts to promote recycling and reuse in this community, in this community have been recognized by many, and most importantly, they are volunteers. The Swap Shop volunteers were not nominated for this Eco Excellence Award by the Cape Elizabeth Recycling Committee. Alina Perez is the chair, Russell Pierce, and Louise Sullivan. If you could come up, if you want to say a few words. <laughs> well, they've made our job easier. Um, we just wanted to thank them for the, the hard work they put in. They've largely been a self-organizing group um, with little supervision from us and really have done a fabulous job with like you said, keeping it clean, orderly, and having people follow the rules, which is really important right now with a lot of the changes in um, state laws with universal waste going into effect. So we have... Um, yeah, we're going to present them with uh, official Cape Recycles volunteer shirts <laughs> and environmentally friendly green, and also pins uh, that identify them as volunteers at the swap shop. Uh, we hope that hopefully by giving them these, it acknowledges their efforts and also will make them more easily identifiable to people to come into the swap shop because I know that when people are policed in the swap shop, often they're very apprehensive about who's telling them what to do. And we thought that if we gave them a little bit of an identity, hopefully it'll help them in their jobs. So <laughs> we appreciate their efforts. Yeah, thank you. If I might just name, um, name the swap shop volunteers, I think some of them are here tonight. Um, Jerry Edgar, and if you'd come up. Uh, Jerry Edgar, Kathy Pinkham, Leroy Kimball, Jane Hurst, Gail Rowe, Jerry Davis, Ray Mayot, and Lucinda Pfeiffer. I should mention that so, there are a lot of people that go unnamed that have remained anonymous, so the group is really much larger than those. The, the plaque reads the 2006 Eco Main Eco Excellence Award to Cape Elizabeth Swap Shop Volunteers. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I also might, uh, um, Pat Anderson, who's our new transfer station operator, uh, is here, and I think she probably knows the transfer, the Swap Shop Volunteers better than anybody. And, um, and I just have to say while she's coming up that uh, Pat Anderson is doing a wonderful job at the transfer station. Um, I, I can see your real commitment to recycling and um, making it more user friendly with lots of signs and you're a tremendously hard worker. So um, thank you very thank much. You. Come up 
to the there's microphone. An unwritten code amongst the volunteers mm -hmm. that there are never more than two of them in one place at one time. And it's they've proven it here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and just as there's a whole invisible group that's been named, as you said, there are even more than that. Yeah, yeah. And um, every day that I work up there, I realize that, well, there's another person doing something. I wonder who they are. And, and that people are, are constantly asking me how they can help, you know, what can they do. And, you know, I try to direct them to just sort of some little guidelines on on how to follow in the footsteps of the, you know, the professional volunteers that, you know, that I know have kept this place going for the 10 years it's been in existence. So um, they deserve it. They work hard for it. And uh, keep up the good work, you guys. Just, just saying one, one more thing. I think one of the uh, you know, the transfer station is always the number one most popular um, public service that we give people in this town. People love the transfer station and I think, you know, it's, it's user friendly, it's open regularly, it's a great view going to the transfer station, but I really think what people are anticipating is finding a treasure at the swap <laughs> channel. And, and that's, um, the orderliness of it is do a lot to the transfer station volunteers. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to just personally add my thanks to... I'd like to just add my thanks to all of you for what you've done for the transfer station for the recycling center. Um, I mean, it's, it, my mother was here visiting a month or so ago. She lives in the Midwest and I, my wife, while she was here said, oh, I'm going to the dump, I'll be back in a little bit. My mother said, you're doing what? She said, I'm going to the dump. And my, my mother didn't quite understand that concept and we explained to her what we had here and she insisted on going so she could see it. And I took her, I ran into Councilor Moles in the swap shop while I was there, giving my mother a tour. And I ended up walking out with a very cool little M&M dispenser that still had some M&Ms in it. <laughs> I didn't but, bring anything home on fear of what my wife would do to me, so. <laughs> but you do a fabulous job there. Um, thank you for all you do. And Kevin, thank you very much for coming this evening. We appreciate it. And thanks for the great job you're doing. And there was yet one more article in the Sunday paper about the wonders of the swap shop last Sunday. So. <laughs>